the outrage of the community over the 90-day limit for transfers was not in vain, sorta. We have an official response from Blizzard about the entire controversy regarding the fresh servers. Okay guys, we're gonna see right here, it's in the forums. Okay, response, fresh Lich King realms and transfer restrictions. I think a grand beat me to the punch on this in another trend, but yes, we intend to monitor these realms as they approach the 90-day mark and see it if it makes sense to extend the restrictions. For at least 90 days, meaning it could be longer, all three things will be restricted. After 90 days, we will consider which one of these restrictions should be extended and how much yeah. longer. What does that mean yeah, when he yeah. says which ones? Boosts are gonna be the first to open. Okay, like, let's be real. Oh yeah, they are gonna open the, the boost first. Like, let's be honest, guys. And for how much longer? It might make sense to keep all of them or maybe only some of them. How much can I bet you that the boost is not gonna make sense for them? As a hypothetical example, we might get to 90 days and see that there are so many max level death knights that it no longer makes sense to require a level 55 to make a death knight in these realms and make them eligible for your first death knight without a level 55 while still preventing incoming transfers. Or maybe we will want to do the exact opposite. Our intent is to communicate that we are that we realize allowing transfers, boosts and decays too early defeats the point of these realms and that we will only introduce them as we feel it makes sense. I think this is like uh, they are quoting somebody that made a question here. Personally, I would like to see an argument as to how there could ever be a need to allow transfers from old realms to fresh realms. If there is a dying fresh realm, what problem do old to fresh transfers solve that fresh Fresh, oh my god, this is like making a logical pseudocode thing with this, oh my, I'm not gonna read that. I'm not gonna read those arrows, like look at those arrows, make your own conclusions, I, I refuse to read that thing. Okay? okay, I don't get paid enough for that. God damn. For this to be a, a good idea, the benefit of allowing old to fresh transfers need to outweigh the negative of long time players getting the option to transfer from old to fresh and gaining a massive economic advantage on that server. The guy basically asks, hey man, what's the purpose of allowing transfers? Why would you do that? But of course, since this is the freaking Blizzard forums, they had to make that, that word salad right there because this is like people that are not allowed on Reddit go to the Blizzard forums okay like we're talking like oh, every stereotype you got for reddit people that's the forums real nerds gamers yeah it's even worse home it's even worse to answer the question of why we would ever want to allow transfers from old to fresh consider that you might have a friend who didn't roll fresh and you might have a spot open on your roster that she could could feel obviously the point is to start on a level playing field but gold inflates with each expansion, so it is certainly conceivable that the economy on these servers may start to match the others, and if they did, I am not sure continuing to restrict transfers would be the right call at that point. As others have pointed out, there are gold limits on transfers and we have discussed many times before how they can be circumvented through clever use of game mechanics, but let's entertain this guy. though. It is also true that raw gold, raw gold isn't the only form of transferable wealth. That's pretty much the whole explanation of what I was gonna say. In short, our intent is to keep the restrictions for as long as it feels like it makes sense and for the time being we are willing to commit to a 90 day minimum. I hope that helps alleviate some concerns. Uh, are your concerns alleviated, guys? Uh, can, can you tell me? I'm gonna make a poll! Okay, why do we got democracy? Uh, like, okay, this time I, I use democracy for my own personal gain. Let's make democracy happen here. Are your concerns alleviated? What up, Cargos? Yo, will you play, play Rato the Lich King, son? Very similar to Alex, I'm gonna play it for a month, I'm gonna capitalize on the views, and then I'm gonna quit. You know? Gotta, gotta keep it straight with you, homie. That's all is gonna ha happen, you know, West Coast. Yeah, you know, hassle. Gotta keep it straight with you, homie. That's all is gonna ha happen, you know, West Coast. Yeah, you know, hassle. Which server will you play most Everlook? Depends on how it goes. If it is good, I'm gonna play on Everlook. Yeah, of course. 
Long term, I want to move on from WoW. I think it, there's no point. I don't want to keep my life dooming. Okay, I, I want to do greater things. I want to be a bigger man. I cannot just be dooming all day. And if that path doesn't lead me to the to the WoW section of the world, then it's going to be that way, homie. Uh, that's all I can say about it. Medina in 14, soon TM. It will happen eventually, okay? It will happen eventually. Do not hold your breath, but it will happen eventually. Like, I wanna branch out to other MMOs. That's why I started the worst MMO I ever played series, actually. I'm trying old and new MMOs. Everlook will be free content early on. There are more free content with the inevitable drama. Dude, I am so mad that there is no more drama going on. Like, that's the best part about making content about private servers. The drama, man. It is always Juicy Panucci. Okay, 67% no. 31% yes. Honestly, for what I expected, that's a very decent number. I guess your concerns are decently alleviated, people. So there you go. That's something good on you. Okay, and is there anything else on the post that we gotta read right now? I clicked the S for no reason. Shut up, Joji. This is democracy. That's why that's the same way people vote. They put one guy for no reason. And that's how we got we run the country, okay? If it is okay to run a country on democracy, it is okay to run this stream on democracy. You hear me? Don't, don't you ever this democracy again homie okay i really appreciate all the thoughtful discussion in this thread oh that's about it the triumph of democracy <laughs> are my concerns personally alleviated no will it matter if it's three months or four months or six months because you know they will open the floodgates eventually okay like especially at the end of a quarter we still don't know that actually guys whenever the release of classic rat is announced i am gonna add up the math and i am gonna tell you with a very very precise date when they are gonna open the transfers because they are gonna open the transfers a month before the quarter ends because they gotta look good on the quarterly report and that's that's when they are gonna open it homie it will probably start at the end of august okay then it's then if they are open it then no that doesn't make any sense no it's not coming in august homie if they are open if they if it's coming in august they are gonna open the floodgates in either january or february that's my take if that is correct okay there you have it that's the whole announcement am i happy about it am i less concerned about it no but it is what it is so like the video and hit the notification bell and consider joining the join button you know how it is with this stream you get a shield or otherwise you you don't get anything in life and yeah thank you so much for watching and yeah the west coast